always are you uh, a kid that really liked to sing, you know what I mean? I love my singing, you know, and um, I used to sing for my sisters, my, you know, family, you know, all my family, I used to like to sit down, even when I was very small, you know. First record that I did is back in '75, 1975, in Jamaica. I, I was very keen, given the first opportunity, to possibly issue some of his material and meet him. So um, Prince Farai and Style told Bim this, and um, he rang me at my mother's house, which is where I was living at the time, and um, I sent him. Um, an invitation to come to England to work with me and do a tour, which we, we, we did in 1979, which is called the Roots Encounter Tour, featuring Prince Farai, Bim Sherman, Prince Hammer and Creation Rebel. And that led us to actually work with the Slits and the Clash and um, a lot of other people who were around at the time. <laughs> As a rock, you feel the need in me. Solid as a rock, you feel the need in me. It's not easy finding all the loving quality. It's not easy achieving maximum loving quality. Always be at peace with your soul. I listen to Nat King Cole, um, you know, Benny King, and, you know, Dean Warwick, and Bob Marley, you know, as the reggae, you know, singer, um, Ken Brood, Jan Hole, you know. Um, Alton Ellis, all those singers, you know, inspired me you know, so far, you know, um, because I like this song. I sat down with Bim and, and we decided which songs we were going to cut and um, which new songs and how we were going to go about um, structuring the songs and the, the production we were going to use, which was basically working with Skip McDonald and Talvin Singh. I think he has a, a style that's not dissimilar to people like Nat King Cole. It just has this thing about it, you know, it just relaxes you immediately as soon as you hear it. Bim, uh, Pete Holdsworth from On You Sound, um, and Talvin Singh went to Bombay. <laughs> wanted it to sound um, and I think that was great because it wasn't it's not you know it's not a kind of crossover fusion album of anything it's about what we are which is you know multicultural you know 
people, you know, like living in London. It's not about, you know, like Philip Glass getting together with Ravi Shankar saying, let's make a fusion record. Crashing the brick walls and stone heart despair. The sun slowly rises, the sun slowly sets. And what you gave out, you surely will get. And basically the, the arrangements for the horns were done by uh, an arranger for us at the film studio. And when it came back, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. Love Why did we without you Wishing that you could be My absolute favourite is Bewildered. Um, I loved it, you know, even when I heard it sort of before it was finished. Um, and to this very date, that is definitely my favourite still. Of sleepless nights and endless days It was actually off the cassette, run from the, the ADAT in Bombay, in my car, on the stereo in the car. And I heard it and I kind of went, whoa. I heard over the rainbow and it was exactly how I, I, I hoped it would be. The idea was to like build layers and textures with um, little buried noises, uh, percussions, to keep the whole thing completely non-electronic. Basically it was, I tried to put down what was needed. I, I tried to um, measure the music and melt into it. Uh, in terms of um, what we tried to do um, was just play together and leave room, and to try to leave some room. It's a big project in my head and, and in my heart. Hopefully the world will, will accept it the same way, but truly, out of all the stuff I've done, this is a masterpiece. So I think the remix on this one are very valid, and we've been very careful who we've chosen to do the remixes for us. We had people like um, Steve Osborne, you know, who do the remixes, and um, Groove Corporation, they did one from in, in Birmingham, and they had a studio down there, and um, Tim Simeon also do a mix, you know, and Youth do a mix, which you know is an ambient mix, but I like I love them all. I love them all. So I'm hopelessly surrendering my love. Solid as a rock, you feel the need in me. Solid as a rock, you feel the need. know what we're gonna get you know how, how it would sound when we finish but we think um, we can go with something because we always do something that do um, sound good anyway so you know uh, we go along with it and um, it turned out to be excellent listen to this and I, I would I would say that if I was to leave a legacy behind me after I stop making records or you know whatever happens I would like people to hold this record up and say here is a fantastic record that I believe will in 10, 20, 30 years still sound like a beautiful piece of music. I don't really make music um, you know, um, to suit people. You always make something that you love, right? And um, if someone loves it, it's all swell. You know, that's the way I look at it. <laughs> So I know, I know, I know, I know, I know.
No, no, no.